Hey there, let's nerd out on some college football playoff roster data together. We're going to take a look at the recruiting footprints of the top four programs in college football, Georgia, Michigan, Texas Christian, and Ohio State. Using roster data, we'll map the recruiting swath and then dabble in some distance stats. I'll start out with the maps, and in a part two video, I'll show you how everything is made. What do these recruiting footprints even look like? The average distance of a Georgia recruit was 157 miles, and the vast majority of these players come from the neighboring Atlanta metropolitan area. But we have some others scattered around from California, a lot from Texas, and a few on the eastern seaboard, also Florida. Of all four teams, Georgia has the most compact recruiting footprint, the shortest average distance from player hometowns to school. By contrast, Michigan had the largest recruiting footprint, an average of 460 miles. California and Florida are well represented, but so are the metropolitan areas of Dallas, Atlanta, and Chicago. But check out the eastern seaboard. Those coaches have racked up lots of air miles. Texas Christian has the second most broad recruiting footprint with an average distance of 221 miles with a vast distribution of players coming from around the country but many of them are within state in other metropolitan areas of texas here's ohio state's recruiting footprint the second most compact at 184 miles average they're also hitting the familiar talent hot spots of metropolitan dallas atlanta but look at tampa and like michigan the other big 10 team in the playoff they love the eastern seaboard especially metropolitan New York, but overall lots of local players. And when it comes to college football recruiting, local matters. But what about the distribution of recruiting classes year over year? Are there differences between freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, and graduate students? Let's take a closer look. We'll start with Georgia, whose recruiting distance through the classes is pretty normally distributed. The junior class is by far Georgia's most broadly distributed recruiting footprint, averaging 303 miles. But look at that senior class, almost entirely in state. But Georgia's most compact class was the sophomore recruiting class at 106 miles on average, unless you count the graduate student on the team. There's just one. He came from 47 miles away. Michigan's recruiting reach is pretty consistent throughout the years. The 65 freshmen on Michigan's football team come from far and wide, 546 miles away on average. Incredibly, there are only six players who are sophomores, and they come from 337 miles away. And notably, they deviate from the trend of East Coast recruiting. But the most compact class are the 17 seniors, averaging 229 miles away. But Wow, look at the 20 graduate students on the team. They average 549 miles, the most broadly distributed class. TCU's recruiting class distances follow a pretty normal trend too. The freshman and senior classes have the most compact footprints, and the sophomore and junior classes have the most broad footprints, with a particular focus on eastern states. TCU has no graduate student players. Ohio State has focused its recruiting efforts more locally in the past two years. The 68 freshmen on the team come largely from in-state, and the sophomore team is the most compact class, averaging only 105 miles away. There are only six seniors on this team, and they represent the most far-flung class. Likewise, the 11 grad students on the team. What about the transfer portal? Among the four schools overall, transferring students averaged 279 miles, while non-transfer students students were 219 miles, a little bit further away for transfers, which kind of makes sense. But that's not the case for every team. Non-transfer players for Georgia averaged 161 miles, while transfer students were way more local, averaging only 94 miles, almost all in-state. Similarly, Michigan's non-transfer students came from further away than did their transfer students, who averaged 433 miles. Here are Texas Christian's non-transfer students, averaging 184 miles. And here are the astounding 36 transfer players for Texas Christian. Their average is 279 miles. It's sort of all or nothing distance wise. Players coming from very far away or very local. Ohio State has even more of a disparity with their non-transfer students averaging 182 miles with their six transfer students averaging nearly 500 miles. We've mentioned in-state recruiting a couple times but let's take a closer look. 60% of Georgia's team was recruited from within state. The favorite non-Georgia state was Florida. 13 players. Only 27% of Michigan's players came from Michigan. That's the lowest in-state rate between all four teams. Michigan's second favorite state to recruit from is also Florida, 10 players.
players. 61% of Texas Christians players come from within state. That's the highest rate of all four teams. Though Texas does have the highest population of all these teams. Their favorite non-Texas state? It's California. 44% of Ohio State's players come from within state, and their favorite non-Ohio recruiting ground is Texas, where they picked up seven players. But what if we got a little bit more specific by taking a look at core-based statistical areas? Unsurprisingly, these four CBSAs are the most recruited from in the country. They either contain or neighbor the teams in the playoff. The Dallas-Fort Worth area is the most heavily recruited among these four teams, Texas Christian topping them off with 38. The Atlanta CBSA is home to 49 recruits among the four teams, Georgia being the top recruiter, naturally, with 36 players. Michigan recruited 30 players out of the Detroit area, and Ohio State snuck four out. Columbus saw 19 recruits, 17 of them going to local Ohio State. Georgia and TCU didn't recruit anyone from either of these two northern CBSAs. CBSAs are so boxy. What if we took a more organic look using one-hour drive times? This is how far you could drive in any direction in one hour around Athens, Georgia. Georgia does much of its recruiting in nearby Atlanta. And the one hour area around the stadium is actually pretty sparse for recruits. Only eight, although the University of Michigan picked up two from this area. This is by far the lowest recruiting within any of the drive time areas of the four schools. Michigan recruited 20 players from within a one hour drive time from the big house in Ann Arbor. Ohio State poached four. TCU recruited an impressive 31 players from within a one hour drive time of their stadium. Michigan picked up three, Georgia three, and Ohio State just one. Ohio State recruited 17 players within an hour of itself, but Michigan got two, including one right from the heart of Columbus. That's all I got. Enjoy the games and stay tuned for the how-to.